Okay, so now we're going to change the positioning of the sidebars. The sidebars are these things that you see here, these blocks. And right now there's really a lot more things here than you really need. So we're going to take them away and just put in what you really need to use. So let's go back to our dashboard here. And we're going to go to the middle of the page here. Let's scroll down a bit. And we're going to go to Style and Configure Sidebars. Okay, so basically this theme gives you the option of having four sidebars. Um, you can have one on the left here. You can have a left inner sidebar. You can have a right inner sidebar, which you can see here um, is this empty space because there's nothing in that area, but that sidebar is actually active. And then there's this right sidebar here. So you you don't need all those sidebars. So let's take them out. So the, let's keep the left sidebar for now. So we'll let that display. Let's scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, the left inner sidebar is not checked on any of these pages. So um, there's no left sidebar there. And as you can see, the right sidebar is checked. That's why we have this here, this right sidebar. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uncheck all of these check marks so that it doesn't display on any page. And these sidebars are useful because you can stick in banners and um, any type of information that you might need to put in, um, advertisements, whatever you want to put in there. But uh, for now, we're just going to take them out because we're just going to create a basic web website. Okay, so the same thing with right inner sidebar. Um, it appears blank right now, but we're just going to take all this out so that there's no blank in that area. Okay, that's all set. And then you just go back down to the huge save changes button. Click that. And at the top here, it's going to say settings saved. So we want to go back to our external website. And then we want to press the reload button here. OK, and there, as you can see now, you just have one left sidebar here. And then there's no sidebars in the right. So what we're going to do now is configure the left sidebar. We're just going to put in some basic information. So now we're going to go down to under appearance, go to widgets. And these, these little boxes here are called widgets. I don't know why they call them that, but that's what they're called. So each one of these boxes here in the sidebars is a widget. And it's kind of nice because you can control it, and you can move them around um, to the way you want it pretty easily. So the, as you can see, here are the four sidebars that are available. And these are the different widgets that you can stick in there. Um, Widgets can be a calendar, widgets can be links, pages, whatever you want. So just for an example, let's, uh, let's take a calendar and put it in there. Okay, so if you put your cursor over uh, the blue bar here, you're going to get this four-pointed arrow. That shows you that you can click and drag this bar. So I want you to left-click and hold down, and then just drag calendar into left sidebar. Okay, so it's showing in there now and it's been saved. So let's go back to our website, reload. And there, there you have a calendar. You may may or may not have a use for a calendar, but I don't think a lot of people would use a calendar. So let's let's do something a little more useful here. Um to get rid of this calendar, we'll just delete it. Person the this delete link. Okay, now it's gone. Okay, so now I want you to just put in a search bar in the left sidebar for now. And that can be found here towards the bottom of this box. So you want to left click and drag up to the left sidebar box here. Let go the mouse button. And now you have a search box. So what does that look like? Let's go back to the website. Let's refresh or reload. And now there's a search box and that will allow your website visitors to 
um, search your site for a particular type of text and it's a pretty handy thing to have so we're just gonna leave that for now